Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Pralab Joshi, a senior BJP leader, stated during the NDA Parliamentary Party meeting that Narendra Modi will be sworn in as Prime Minister for the third time on Sunday, June 9 at 6 p.m. The meeting held in the central hall of the ancient parliament building was attended by NDA MPs and senior alliance leaders, including chief ministers. In a concerted effort to tackle the escalating drug abuse issue in Meghalaya, the State Social Welfare Department, the Home Police Department and the Deputy Commissioner of East Cassia's District convened a critical consultative meeting. This meeting, part of the Drug Reduction Elimination and Action Mission, or DREAM, DREAM, launched in June 2023, aimed to create a drug-free Meghalaya. Social Welfare Minister Paul Lingdo emphasised the essential role of Dorbar Shnongs in combating substance abuse, urging the active participation. Key discussions focus on identifying gaps in current anti-drug initiatives and strengthening community partnerships. The meeting highlighted the need for well-trained village defence parties of VDPs to assist the police in drug detection and prevention as per the Meghalaya Village Defence Organisation Rules 2008. The long-awaited integrated farmers' market in Ampati Market, South West Garhills, which was inaugurated six years ago, has now officially opened for operations. The chief executive member, CEM of the Garhills Autonomous District Council, GHADC, and the District Horticulture Officer, South West Garhills, conducted the grand opening ceremony on Friday in partnership with the Deputy Commissioner of South West Garhills. The Assam floods crisis has increased with the death toll reaching 25, according to the Assam State Disaster Management Authority, ASDMA, on June 7. Approximately 4,23,000 people from 10 districts are struggling with the adverse effects of the floods, with 459 villages still submerged. The districts affected are Kachar, Nagong, Karimganj, Dhemaji, Morigao, Hojai, Dibrugar, Dimahasao, Hailakandi and Karbi Anglong West. Cyclone Ramal caused significant rainfall in Assam, resulting in massive floods. The Sikkim Krantikari Morcha's parliamentary party has unanimously decided to back Narendra Modi, leader of the BJP parliamentary party for Prime Minister of India. Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamang made the announcement on his official social media page. He also mentioned that they had scheduled the swearing-in event for June 10th at Paljor Stadium. On Friday, police confiscated a significant consignment of Yaba tablets and arrested one person in West Tripura district. According to West Tripura Superintendent of Police, Kiran Kumar, a joint team of state police and BSF raided a house in Matinagar village in Sepahijala district bordering Bangladesh and recovered over 20,000 Yaba tablets, a pistol and four cartridges after receiving a tip. Abu Salem Bhuyan, age 51, the house owner has been arrested. Chennaiyan FC has completed the third signing for the 2024-2025 season, signing defender PC Laldin Puya on a three-year agreement. The 27-year-old from Mizoram is known for his versatility in both defence and midfield. He joined the Marina Machans after an impressive performance with Jamshedpur FC. Interestingly, Laldin Puya made his Indian Super League ISL debut with Jamshedpur under Owen Coyle in 2022 and he was also a member of the club that won the ISL League Shield that same year. Vishal Dadlani, noted singer-composer of Bollywood, has extended his support to CISF officer Kulvinder Kaur, who allegedly slapped actor newly elected LSMP Kangana Ranaut at Chandigarh Airport on Thursday. Dadlani took to Instagram to share his support, stating he wouldn't show Kaur has a job if any action is taken against her by the CISF. Following the incident, Ranaut lodged a complaint, leading to Kaur's suspension and subsequent arrest. Kangana recently won the Lok Sabha elections from Himachal Pradesh Monday constituency. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Michela. Hub Podcast.